What's happening everyone? It's Abdallah here bringing you guys another awesome tips and tricks video for Yokai Watch, Blasters, Red Cat Core, and White Dog Squad. This one is specifically about Rudy and how to befriend him within the game. So, if you guys already have a copy of the game, definitely jump in and play along with. I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. Now, Rudy is going to be one of your cover exclusives for Red Cat Core, as you guys can see him right over there. So that means that if you have White Dog Squad, you will need to trade for him. He's only exclusive in this one. If you don't have him here, you gotta trade from here. Anyway, that's part of the gimmick. So I would say like an equal trade would be like Rudy for Whisper. Uh, that would be pretty good as far as the economy goes and trading. So take it at face value, he's an exclusive. Anyway, his befriending is relatively easy. I'm going to show you exactly what quests you need to do. So if you guys have access to chapter 5, that's exactly what you're going to need to do. Once you have chapter 5, simply put, listen for the phone again. This is one of the things that a lot of people miss. I personally have missed it when I played through Moon Rabbit. I played 8 chapters without paying attention to the phone unless someone pointed it out. So the phone rings, you guys can pick it up, uh, and they're talking about a yokai cat battle royale. Yeah, we're talking Fortnite here. Anyway, so answer the phone when you're in chapter 5, and then Burly will hook you up with a brand new quest. So, simply put, come on over here, and uh, I'll show you exactly what's going on. So click on story, we're gonna head all the way back to one of the earlier chapters uh, in the game, which is right about here. So, if this bottom screen doesn't look like your bottom screen with this particular mission, one, you're probably playing on White Dog Squad and it won't be there. Two, you didn't answer the phone accordingly and unlock this quest, all right? So keep that in mind. All right, now this is actually a really tough level because this level will make you have a solo battle. You can't use any healers on your team, you're only gonna be using Jibanyan. So, if you guys have been watching my Let's Play episodes, you know that I am an advocate for spending all of your Oni orbs onto Jibanyan until you get some permanent endgame team members on your team, such as Usapion or Shmoopy. So, I've been doing exactly that. So my Jibanyan is a little bit stronger, uh, so I'll, I'll exactly show you my level of Jibanyan right now. So. If you guys didn't already take a look at our previous episode, we gave you a QR code so that you can get a very, very good equip item on Jibanyan. So, I'll show you mine. He's level 35. Yeah, the recommended level is 18, so we're twice as strong. But, your individual levels may vary. I would say, do some more missions, pour some more Oni orbs into this guy so that he's all set. And of course, get the Red Cat Blade. The Red Cat Blade is given to you guys off another tutorial by scanning in a QR code. Description below. Click on that, watch the video. Anyway, so that's our Jibanyan. He's ready to go. If you've already played the game up to chapter five, you already know how to play Jibanyan, right? You do three attacks and then you do the uppercut. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing here. Now, taking a look at the treasure drops, in my previous episode where I showed you guys how to get Usapion, a lot of you guys are asking, well, how do you get first prize? Is there any tricks to doing that? There's really not. There's no tricks, it's all RNG. So if you wanna get that unbeatable soul, the fusion item for some certain yokai, you're gonna have to keep on playing. Jibanya doesn't have a specific item, but he can equip bells. And I'll show you that towards the end of the episode. So let's go, we're gonna take on this mission. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. We're gonna jump into the level without any recovery items. If you guys have some rice balls floating around from previous chapters, you can absolutely use those to help you out even further in case you're having a harder time. So here we go. Jibanyan's coming on board, he's summoned by the other cat yokai, and uh, I'll read this to you guys. So I came because I was told there was uh, going to be a meeting, meow. You called me while I was busy with the blasters. And then of course, all the very flagship uh, cat yokai are here. Badanyan, you finally came, you mangy jiba cat. What? This many cat yokai have assembled, meow. Even so, this isn't everyone, meow. What? There's more, meow. There's already too many, meow. Uh, that's what we're all thinking, meow. That's what this meeting is uh, here to decide. Who's the number one cat yokai around here? What? I'm feeling kind of lazy today, though. Uh, don't bother going through all that trouble. I'm obviously number one. Try saying that after you defeat us. Let's begin the cat yokai meeting, aka Battle Royale. Meow. So we're gonna get a number one victory royale right now because that's how we get Rudy. So, long story short, let's hit it. Let's go. All right, so you'll see on the bottom screen over here, there's gonna be two yokai in front of you. Uh, you first, Jibanyan, I will defeat you. Now, you can easily get wiped out in this first battle. So uh, make sure you guys enter very strong with a big uppercut. If, you're, if you aim it well enough, you can get both of them with the uppercut without too much damage. Now, you'll also notice that on the bottom screen over here, there are indeed 
uh, some different items. You guys can see that there. Each of those items on screen is going to be a rice ball. So, uh, yeah, I mean, well, I did actually start with some items. I thought I sold them, but you can see over here, I've got a rice ball in my inventory, and of course, I've got one of these uh, Robignon rockets, but we won't use them. But in case you don't have any items, you can come over here and pick up one rice ball, and then you can go to the parking lot, or you can go over to the, uh, the field, the soccer field, and pick up another one. There's actually four items on this entire map, so use those sparingly, and keep an eye on your health gauge so that you don't get owned by the other cats. Anyway, so here we go. Boom, uppercut Drakenyan. So these are all the little giant head guys. We're gonna knock these guys out just really easily. It's just doing your three hit combo and then the uppercut. You're gonna get some shards and whatnot. It's gonna be really good for you. I'm at half health right now, so you can easily go through, use an item, get yourself recovered, and then grab another one in order to help yourself out. Relatively easy. So right over here is going to be a hard one because we have to fight the legendary Shogunyan, and of course we have to fight the bulky Robinyan. So that being said, just knock him out with the three hit combo. One, two, three, and then of course the uppercut. So that's good. If you guys did get a scratch from that, you're more than welcome to come over this way to pick up another rice ball. And then on the very top inside the parking lot, you can, uh, you can come on over and get another rice ball. So anyway, there's going to be even more yokai over here. We got Macho Nyan from Psychic Specters. Uh, we got Sailor Nyan, digital exclusive. Hey Abdallah, can you trade me a Sailor Nyan? Do you have a spare Sailor Nyan? Here's Jet Nyan from the roof of the uh, elementary school. And we got one more. I'm at half health, so keep an eye on it. This is Wonder Nyan. Hey, how come I can't battle Wonder Nyan anymore in Yokai Watch 2? Anyway, I'm gonna use this, and then of course I'm gonna grab this next one. Because what you wanna do is you wanna get healed up really quick. Once this dialogue stops, they're gonna automatically teleport you to the next area. Wonder Nyan, you're gone. Even my swift sword play was no match. So you guys can see over here, we only used a couple of the uh, rice balls, but there's more than enough for you guys to get on by, and these battles aren't really that tough. So right about now, you should have your soul to ready and charged, good to go. So once you have it, just unleash it on this next guy right over here. Boom, Rudy, didn't want to spoil it. So you can come over here, use your soul to right on Rudy. So get him a good quarter of the health down. Whenever he does his scratches, it's gonna be really, really uh, strong for you. So I'm, I'm already at half health and I'm gonna heal uh, once I'm a little bit lower. Okay, yeah, heal. Okay, woo! I accidentally shot the Robonyan uh, rocket at him. So you didn't necessarily have to do that, but I had it in mind, so I just use it. He's very strong. You guys can see how fast my health went down. And since you don't have a full team of healers to give you a hand, you have to really use the uh, the different rice balls that are on board. So before you enter the battle with Rudy, make sure you have at least two rice balls in your inventory slots right over there so that you guys can heal yourself whenever he beats you. So pretty cool. So you survived the battle royale and even beat myself, which means I'm really number one. Yes, I did it. See, I told you we were gonna get a number one victory royale, dude. I told you. Anyway. So that's pretty cool. The door appeared, very, very good. Rudy! Okay, so now we're gonna get a pretty cool cutscene of, of Rudy. We're gonna see if we get the unbeatable soul, which would be really cool for me and my medallion. Uh, I would truly love that, but we'll see. So you can grind on this level all you want. I mean, the clear reward's pretty good, and it only really took, like, what, six minutes, five minutes? And dude, we got it. Holy moly for the recording. That's so crazy. That's back-to-back -back recordings that we did that. All right, so we got the unbeatable soul. So we're gonna give that, it's a fusion item. Uh, we're gonna absolutely fuse and then get a new yokai for our medallion. That is so cool, by the way. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't know how we're getting this luck. But uh, yeah, keep on grinding the level until you get that. So this is the cutscene for uh, the end game area. Yes. You can't get more than one Rudy in game, so keep that in mind. Uh, Jibanya, what's going on? You're laughing loudly in your sleep. Meow, meow I'm number one. Uh -oh. What are you talking about? Sheesh, you're still half asleep. Meow. What? That was just a dream. Meow, I was sure that Sergeant Burley's training is about to start, so... Jibanya, you should hurry up and come too. Say what? I'm coming. Ah, what a weird dream. It may have been a dream, but the old me was still pretty strong, meow. What? Meow? Oh, how is that possible? Some of you guys might be thinking. Yeah. What? what the no way, are you me? 
I was taking a walk and wandered into some strange place, Meow. This place is interesting. I think I'll stay a while, Meow. What? Is this a dream too, Meow? So, Amy's like, where's where's Rudy at? <laughs> right? <laughs> so this probably took place before. I don't even know. You know what? Don't even try to think about the timeline. Okay, so now that we got Ru Rudy, let's go take a look in the lounge. Let's go take a look at who he is as a character and where he plays a role. So I'm gonna go move out members. We're gonna take a look at um, Rudy here. Boom. So right off the bat, his quest was level 18. He comes on board as a level 22. He's a C rank and he's a rare fighter. So you can see that his strength stat is already through the roof at 73. And he's got adrenaline, which is uh, just like Jibanyan's old skill, where if he gets a KO, his attack is gonna be boosted up. He's got a charged attack, he's got triple attack, and of course fire. You're rarely gonna use fire. You can easily swap that out for uh, a dodge or anything like that, so. We can take him. Uh, let's actually swap him with Rudy right here. Uh, and then let's take a look at little Rudy here. So we can click on that. We can take a look at his moves. Uh, yeah, so he does have a dodge. So you can absolutely use the dodge right here and change up his move sets accordingly. So yeah, charge attack, pretty cool on X and then press Y to dodge is probably the better way of doing it. Unless you wanna use Rudy's spirit stat, go for it. But anyway, he's got room for one more uh, move, so make sure that you guys level him up and he can get something new. So there we have it. That's Rudy, ladies and gentlemen. An item that I would recommend using him if you already have someone who's already using the Red Cat Blade, I would highly recommend heading on over to Dimmy's shop. If you guys have the materials for it, which if you're in chapter five by now, I assume you do, I would definitely definitely say using one of the cat bells. Cat bells is an all round boost to them. And of course you can level it up even further once you buy one. All you need is heartful essence, charming essence, and a couple of heartful shards. And you can get this and give it to the cat yokai only. Or of course, just give them that one sword that we showed you guys earlier. So ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial about getting Rudy. Uh, Rudy is an auto befriend and you can only get one of them. So if you have Rudy, make sure that you guys are aware of his value. He's an exclusive yokai and you only get one. So don't send him home. Sending him into, making him into sorcery is your choice, but keep that in mind as you're trading with other people. So you can only get one of it. Anyway, that's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching. You guys can absolutely uh, pick up one of these uh, Believe shirts. Make sure you guys are subscribed for even more tips and tricks videos and tutorials, the best ones on the internet. And of course, right over here, answer the comment question of the day. Which of the cat yokai is your favorite? And let me know why. We got even more tips and tricks tutorials. And if you guys have any ideas of what tutorials that you would like to see in the future, let me know in the comments. Can't wait to read those. Spend some more time watching some more yokai content and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching.